Have you ever seen this type of cleaner? It's used to clean bathroom tiles. So I'm actually standing in my tub in my bathroom and I'm going to do a few experiments with this. Watch what happens when I spray this on the wall. It goes on blue. It's a nice blue color. Let's sit here and watch. Do you notice the color fading over time? Looks a little white here. It still looks blue here. It sure looks to me like the color of blue is fading. Huh. I wonder how this color change happens. You know, let's do some experiments and find out. I wonder if there's something in the air that's causing the color change to blue. To test this idea, I'll spray the cleaner onto some aluminum foil. Next, I'll cover a portion of the foam with this plastic cup. The cup will prevent fresh air from reaching the foam that's covered by the cup. The portion of the foam that is not covered with the cup will interact with fresh air. Let's watch and see what happens. It looks to me like the foam is changing from blue to white just like before. I wonder what's happening under the cup. Hey look! The portion of the cup that was protected from the air is still blue. I think this is evidence that something in the air might be reacting with the foam to cause the color change. I wonder if it's carbon dioxide or CO2 that's causing the color change. We can test this idea by breathing through this straw onto the foam. You see, carbon dioxide in exhale breath is a hundred times more concentrated than it is in the air. So if carbon dioxide is causing the color change, my exhale breath should do the trick a lot more quickly. Okay, let's spray two portions of cleaner onto the foil. Now I'll exhale through the straw onto this spot over here. Wow, the spot I breathed on changed color right away. Maybe carbon dioxide is causing the color change. I want to try another test. This home carbonation system pumps carbon dioxide into water to make sodas. First, I'll use this system to fill this bottle with CO2. There, this bottle should now be filled almost entirely with carbon dioxide. Now let's spray some foam onto the foil for our test. All right, now we'll pour some of the carbon dioxide gas in this bottle onto the foam. Would you look at that? Pouring the carbon dioxide gas causes the foam to immediately change to completely white. That is really neat. I think we now have a lot of evidence that carbon dioxide is causing the color change. What causes this color change? Well, the cleaner contains a dye that's blue above pH 9 but colorless below this pH. You might remember that pH refers to how acidic or basic something is. Substances with a pH above 7 are basic, while those with a pH below 7 are acidic. The cleaner has a pH above 9, so the dye in the cleaner appears blue when it's first sprayed out. When the air contacts the cleaner, carbon dioxide in the air dissolves into the foam, and CO2 reacts rapidly with basic solutions. Carbon dioxide causes a drop in pH when it reacts with basic solutions. So when enough CO2 dissolves into the cleaner to cause the pH to drop below 9, the color changes from blue to white. Scientists have discovered that the amount of CO2 in the air is increasing. This extra CO2 builds up in the air when people burn various types of fuel, like gasoline, for energy. Just like carbon dioxide causes a drop in pH when it mixes into the foam, the CO2 in the air also gets into our oceans and makes the pH of the oceans drop. You can probably imagine that this drop in pH of the oceans is causing problems for sea life, and this may become a problem for the people who depend upon life in the oceans. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about this special cleaner and how carbon dioxide makes it change colors. Thanks so much for watching.